Today in cloud gaming news, we're going to be going over the latest rumor of a game being leaked online based on the Mandalorian IP. The reason it's being brought up here today is because at the end, you can see the Stadia UI. It's quite an exciting prospect considering just how big the Mandalorian show is over on Disney Plus, but before we dive into that, we're going to begin with some general cloud gaming news. And it's very good news at that, because there's a report going around stating that cloud gaming's market will hit a 6.5 billion yearly revenue in 2024. I know numbers aren't really the type of thing to excite most consumers, but it is a very important detail and it really shows growth within the industry. And as we all know, money talks. There's going to be more investment, more games, and more things for us to enjoy as long as this number keeps growing. It's important to keep in mind that these are just estimations from Nuzu. They specialize in game market data reports. But what is a fact is that there has been steady growth within the cloud gaming market over the past couple years. The report goes over a few things they believe are the reason why this growth is happening and one of them happens to be the COVID-19 pandemic. As we know, it's affected all aspects of life, not only for us on the consumer end, but also those producing the hardware. They believe that this has led to some customers actually not being able to get their hands on physical hardware and therefore trying cloud gaming as an alternative for the time being. In addition to this, they also talk about the diversification of cloud gaming business models such as Facebook cloud gaming where you can stream a game without really even noticing it. I know I really don't focus too much on them since they're mainly focused on mobile game streaming, but it is a big deal. And I have to say, as someone who's tried it, it's really hard to tell that you're even streaming the games. And the last reason they give for this steady growth is just the overall consumer awareness of what cloud gaming is, and I have little to no doubt that other big names in the industry such as Xbox Cloud Gaming are helping with this. All in all, this is a fantastic bit of news for everyone in the cloud gaming industry. Whether they're a small service or a larger one, the market is growing and that means more consumers are looking toward cloud gaming as an option. But now let's move over to that leaked Mandalorian game. Now, I can't show you gameplay footage here as I don't want the video to be struck or taken down, but if you know how to use Google, it won't take you very long to find this leaked gameplay. Now, everything shown in the video definitely seems like it's very early in concept and a lot of it does seem fairly jank. In the gameplay, we get to see the Mandalorian himself go through corridors and blast through some stormtroopers for about a total of 4 minutes. For a section of the demo, he accesses his equipment and you can see the different variety there is there but then chooses a grappler to hook from one area to the next. And finally, at the end, he encounters a new type of stormtrooper and then you see the Stadia UI pop up. That's where the demo ends. And I have to say, it's pretty exciting stuff as someone who's a fan of the show. It's quite a bit of hype going around within the Stadia community, but also outside of it. And I have to say, it's kind of got me a bit worried. Now, before you raise your pitchforks and call me a party pooper, let me just quickly explain why that is. Reason number one is that a lot of people are already taking this as confirmation of EA continuing support on Stadia. But that's not really the case, because EA no longer holds the exclusivity to these Star Wars games. It may very well be EA, but now it could also be Ubisoft since we know that they're making a Star Wars title and I'm sure there are other companies out there as well. And when it comes to Ubisoft, I would argue that that's a much better chance of this being their game due to the fact that they support Stadia head on with every single new title. And secondly, it's got people excited about a game that's yet to be officially announced or confirmed. And based on what was shown, I actually think it may be a fan-made title that someone's trying to pass off as something real to blow up on the internet for popularity. Now I know games can look particularly rough in the development stage, but this one looks somewhere in between being really good and also really jank. For example, something about Grogu in the main menu just looks really off. Not to mention, as Discord member AlucardX23 pointed out, the song being played at the main menu is a cover off of YouTube. Then there's the Stadia UI that pops in at the end of the video. Initially, I thought this may have led to it being real. After all, game development and cloud gaming go hand in hand especially right now with the whole situation around the world. But when I thought about it a bit more, I just feel like development UI wouldn't be the exact same one we get as consumers. Now look, I could be entirely wrong and this could be completely real. And honestly, I hope it is. I would love to see a Mandalorian game, especially one that comes to Stadia. But as with all rumors and leaks, it's important that we condition ourselves to not 
hype things up that may not come true. It's always best to wait for official confirmation after all. It doesn't help that we've seen a trend of faking gameplay footage and other leaks like it in the past. But that's just my take on it, as I'm pretty skeptical of what was shown. Do let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below. Either way, that's all the news I have for you today. If you enjoyed the video or found it helpful at all, be sure to hit that like button as it really does help the channel out. And if you're wanting more content like this, be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell as well. As always, thanks for watching the video. This has been The Virtual Cloud, giving you the latest and greatest on everything cloud gaming and VR related. And until next time, I'll catch you in the clouds. Thank you.